Today we're taking a look at the NHL matches, which are happening on Sunday, April 18, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. So here are my betting suggestions for Boston Bruins vs. Washington Capitals match. The Capitals will get right back into action on Sunday afternoon at TD Garden after a comfortable 6-3 win in Philadelphia on Saturday. The Bruins will host Washington coming off of an impressive 3-0 win of its own against the Islanders on Friday night. Last week, Washington caught Boston in this same spot with the Bruins having played on Saturday morning and the Capitals lying in wait for the next day. The Bruins played without most of their regular defense and with their fourth-string goaltender Dan Vladar on route to an embarrassing 8-1 defeat. However, it would not be the worst night for Bruins fans since general manager Don Sweeney came through with some deals that should greatly help them the rest of the way and into the playoffs. Sweeney made a very smart move for underrated defenseman Mike Riley will be of particular use in the short term to a Boston defense that is weathering a bad injury situation. Boston have bounced back from last Sunday's 8-1 embarrassment to the Caps with three straight wins, including two very solid efforts over a top team in the New York Islanders. The new additions seem to be giving serious boost to both the number two defensive pair and the second line, and I like Boston's chances to finish strong down the stretch and put together another good effort tomorrow. Washington have been winning a lot of games against weaker competition and managing a very high total of goals for. Boston will certainly be a stiffer test, and likely won't offer up the defensive breakdowns or poor goaltending that the Capitals have dominated in recent wins. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Bruins. I get the case that could made for both sides here, with Washington being on the back-to-back but also performing well on the second half of the back-to-back -back this season. Instead, I'm going to side with the over. Both teams have a strong ability to find the back of the net and that's also be the case in the head-to-head -head this season as the over has gone 4-1-1 between the two. Washington is 7-1 in their last 8 games played on no rest and 19-7 in their last 26 games overall while the over is 7-2-1 in their last 10 road games. Boston is 5-2 in their last 7 games overall and 4-1 in their last 5 games against a team with a winning percentage above .600 while the under is 3-1-1 in their last 5 games overall. The over is 4-1-1 in the last 6 meetings between these two teams. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over 6.5. Now here are my betting suggestions for Buffalo Sabres vs Pittsburgh Penguins match. Pittsburgh is 27-13-3 with 57 points following a 2-1 loss to the Philadelphia Flyers on Thursday, prior to meeting Buffalo for the first time in two straight games on Saturday. The Penguins are third in the East Division trailing the second-place New York Islanders by one point and the first-place Washington Capitals by three points. Prior to the loss to Philadelphia on Thursday, Pittsburgh had won three straight including one victory over the New York Rangers and two victories over the New Jersey Devils. Buffalo defeated the Washington Capitals 5-2 on Thursday but the Sabres remain in last place in the East Division at 11-5-7 with 29 points. Buffalo is five points behind its closest competitors the New Jersey Devils and a distant 31 points behind the first place Capitals. Buffalo has won two of its last three with victories over Philadelphia and Washington and a loss to the Boston Bruins but are far off the pace in the East with little to no hope of making the postseason. Throw in yesterday's victory and the Pittsburgh Penguins have won all five meetings against the Sabres this season and have dominated them over the years as well. The Buffalo Sabres have been able to show signs of life here and there over the last two weeks, but it's simply not enough to convince you in spots like this. The Penguins are head and shoulders in better form and you can argue they've had some of their better performances lately on the road. But do expect a heftier win for Pittsburgh tomorrow. Buffalo goalie Michael Hauser is likely to make his NHL debut against a Penguins team that has already scored at least four snipes in six of its past eight overall fixtures. The Pens have also beaten Buffalo on the very last six occasions, 
winning by more than one goal in five of those games. Furthermore, Pittsburgh is 5-1 in its most recent six road matchups against teams with a domestic winning percentage below the .400 mark, while the Sabres have only managed to win three of their last 16 outings played on the final day of a four games in six day situation. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Pittsburgh Penguins minus 1.5. Pittsburgh is 8-3 in their last 11 games overall and 2-6 in their last 8 games playing on no rest while the over is 5-0 in their last 5 road games. Buffalo is 4-17 in their last 21 home games and 13-38 in their last 51 games overall while the under is 6-2 in their last 8 games played on no rest. The under is 5-2-1 in the last 8 meetings between T. Hase at two teams in Buffalo, my second betting advice for that game is to pick under. Now here are my betting suggestions for New Jersey Devils vs New York Rangers match. 5 consecutive regulation defeats take the New Jersey Devils, 7th in East Division, to their 4th straight head-to-head -head matchup against the New York Rangers, 5th in the East, who are riding a 3-game winning streak. The New York Rangers will go on the road and take on the New Jersey Devils at Prudential Center. The Rangers have a record of 22-16-6. The Devils have a record of 14-23-6. The Rangers and Devils have faced each other seven times this season with New York winning five out of the seven games. It is difficult to imagine New Jersey to snap its five-game losing skid against a team that is still competing for a place in the playoffs. New York, which trails the fourth-placed Boston Bruins in the East Division by four points, but with two more games played, has already beaten the Devils in their very last five head-to-head -head meetings, snatching a win by a margin of at least three markers on each occasion. The Blue Shirts have also been deadly when finishing off busy schedules, recording five victories in their last six contests played on the last day of a four games in six day scenario. The New York Rangers are quietly stacking up wins and becoming quite profitable, and they've won each of the last five meetings against the Devils. In fact, the Rangers just beat up on the Devils yesterday and have outscored them 25 to 7 in those five meetings. My first betting advice for that game is to pick New York Rangers minus 1.5. The Rangers are 2 to 5 in their last 7 games playing on 0 days rest and 6 to 24 in their last 30 Sunday games. The Devils are 2 to 5 in their last 7 games playing on 0 days rest and 8 to 23 in their last 31 overall. The under is 4 to 0 in Rangers last 4 overall. The under is 4 to 0 in Rangers last 4 overall. The Rangers are 4 to 0 in the last 4 meetings in New Jersey and 4 to 0 in the last 4 meetings. The favorite is 4 to 0 in the last 4 meetings. The road team is 6 to 1 in the last 7 meetings. The New Jersey Devils come into this one looking to rebound from the big loss to the Rangers in their last matchup. Pavel Zaka and Jesper Bratt each have a team high 25 points with Zaka logging 10 goals and 15 assists while Bratt has a team high 20 assists. Jack Hughes has 23 points with 9 goals and 14 assists while Ty Smith has 19 assists and Miles Wood has a team high 14 goals. As a team, New Jersey is averaging 2.5 goals on 29.5 shots with a 13.3% success rate on the power play while allowing 3.2 goals on 30.9 shots against with a 71.6% success rate on the penalty kill this season. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over 5.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.